Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, to the Euro Tour stop from France here in Paris. 2010, this is the uh, Euro Tour Dynamic French Open. The game is 9 ball, and uh, the tournament is presented by the Leader Club in Paris. This is day number two, and we started with uh, 208 of the best players of the world. We are going to see a match from the losers' qualification round, meaning we are down to 63 sportsmen. Double elimination and single race from the next round, the stage of the last 32. We are playing WPA rules and alternate break. Vincent Faquet wins the lag and is breaking for the first rack. The prize money is a total of 40,000 euro. I would like to introduce our gentleman first. We've got uh, the guy sitting in the chair. He's from Malta. His name is Tony Drago, the Tornado, and in a minute you're going to see why they're calling the Tornado. He got the silver medal three times uh, here on the Euro Tour, the bronze medal one time. And 2008, here in Paris, France, he got gold, finished first. His opponent is from France. He was the runner-up World Championships Masters. He's the French champion in straight pool, eight ball and nine ball. He was a player of the Moscone Cup team. And he was uh, a world trick shot champion. His name is Vincent Fakir, and we are looking forward to see a very nice match here. My name is Marco Takis, and I hope you enjoy the show. Vincent is now at the table, shooting. At the four ball it is. Going maybe one, two cushions for the five ball on the other side of the table. Or yeah, he's going to let it bounce just up table one cushion for a nice position on the five the tournament is sanctioned by the EPBF which is the European Pool Billiard Federation and I would like to thank uh, Dave Morris and Great Anders for putting up a very nice uh, tournament here in France of course all the team here in France in Paris they are doing a very nice job People are feeling very great, all the players, they're having a good time. And now let's see how Vincent is going to do with this shot. Oh, he punched it really hard. Cue ball jumped out of the cushion we got here. Nice position for the six ball. Okay, he got lucky a bit that he didn't uh, get a self snooker here. Well, let's see, four more balls left. Four balls for his first point. All right, a little bit too straight there, but I think he's still fine. for the eight ball but I think he can handle it oh he's checking out the angle 49 and the position of the nine see it's more well to this side to our side of the table downwards which means well if he wants to play the side pocket he needs to stay on that side of the river And he missed that A-ball. Oh, look at the elbow. Oh, maybe it's going to go for the other pocket. And look at the tornado. He jumped like a... Oh, Jesus. Like a tiger almost. Out of the chair. Going back for the chalk. Giving a little smile to his friend, maybe. Eight ball. Well. But it should be no problem for the tornado. And the nine for the first point for Tony the Tornado Drago. The white ball, the cue ball maybe around the table. Well, here you go. Now it's Tony to break. Did one ball, two balls. Is it a dry break? No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight balls. 
still on the table. Oh, the one is not available for that pocket. He's going to play safe, I think. A safety shot. Leaving the cue ball between the... Th uh, leaving the three between the cue ball and the one. Okay, he's going short. He's going short rail first. Legal shot. And he sent the one all oh, very excellent. Nicely done here from Vincent Fake. And uh, Tony didn't hesitate here to shoot this this one. Cushion first, one ball. He double kissed it there. Maybe he, then he got lucky a little bit uh, that the cue ball didn't slide inside the pocket. It could, everything could happen there. But all right, and now we're gonna see some jump cue action here. We have some air ball here going on. <coughs> On the table, TV table, the table number 24. I don't know if he can hold the cue ball on the table. You might see. Yes, he was going for for letting the ball. Yes, and even Tony says, good shot. I thought he was going to make the ball, and then the cue ball would go maybe off the table, but he just hit it full. Put the cue ball there. This man is playing so fast, I can't commentate even uh, the idea he had and everything. It's a re-safe here. We, we, we're, we're watching a beautiful safety battle here. Both players are not uh, giving the uh, the opponent any chances. Safety. Safety shad. Keeping the white ball. Oh, but Tony can see, I think, a bit of the white. Oh, he could see a lot of it. Sending in one, two cushions, and the white one to the other side. Sticked it to the end rail. That's the angle he want to go for. Hitting the yellow one on the left, on, on its left side. Keeping the white ball. Coming back, maybe. See on the right side of the eight ball and uh, sending the, the, the yellow ball towards uh, this corner pocket. Oh. He hit it too full. He hit the yellow ball too full. I didn't like the shot. He jacked up his cue there at the uh, end rail to achieve a kind of a stop shot for the one. But he get double he get double kissed and uh, therefore he left uh, Tony the shot on the one and what a huge mistake here on the two ball. Well, the tornado Maybe it was here too quick. Forget about already the two ball. Just looking at the three. I missed the two ball by much. 
Very nice draw shot here from Vincent. Excellent. Executed. Nice shot. I can't judge here. What is the four ball? What is the five ball? I think the cent this uh, center ball is a four ball. So he needs to play very deliberate, very uh, smooth here to hold the cue ball. There you go. Look, he get okay, but he's all right. He's all right. There's a five. He has to watch the angle now. The white one naturally will go to the five. To the five. Well, oh no, he had uh, he cheated the pocket and it was almost a straight stab shot for the five. Ball. Very nice shot on the seven ball. The eight ball is on the other side here. There where he's uh, just bending over the table. Watch the side pocket. We had some of those action here bef before the other matches, you remember? Matthias against uh, Dennis. Both of them scratches, even with ball in hand. They scratched ball in hand. Uh, it was, uh, yeah, I think it was the opposite uh, side pocket. There you go. He made it look very easy. Nice draw shot, a straight shot for the nine. Tidying up the match, one apiece. Very good. But look at the two ball is siding here behind the three ball. The one ball is available for him. But what is he gonna do with that two ball cluster there at the rail? for a draw shot. Draw shot down left side English. Off the cushion. Oh. Okay. I'm not sure if he can see the the right side of the two. Otherwise he has to go cushion first. He could go and cross bank it of course. But then he needs to do a lot with the white ball. Let's see. Save attempt. Well, Vincent couldn't do a lot with this uh, three ball, with it with the two ball, the blue. Tony <coughs> placing the white ball fairly frozen on the. Ah, no, there is a bit space between the cue ball and the rail. Look at them two balls there in the middle, the five and the nine blocking. Vincent from seeing the two ball. Therefore he took his jump cue and let's see what he can do now with that. But I don't like it uh, at all because uh, oh, where he can hide after that, where he can put the white ball and where the two ball is going to end up. One, two rails, up table. I told you there are not so many balls where he can hide the uh, the cue ball. He 
Is he able to put the ball? No, he's going for another safety. Sometimes you have to look uh, percentage-wise uh, to those shots, you know. Make, try the ball, or make it. Try a bank shot, but if I don't hit it right and this thing rattles in the corner pocket, then my opponent steps up to the table to a, yes, a very open layout. And uh, the two right now <laughs> finishes where, it start, where we started, uh, well, 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Let's say correct shot. There is nothing he can do with this uh, two ball, I think. Yes, he could go from that side and uh, having a better access for this shot. I'm not sure if he has the watch to, make, to not make a foul here. No, it was okay. Just enough to leave another problem for Tony Drago. There you go. is touching meaning okay and here we have it there's a rule where uh, more than three times uh, that type of uh, safety shot is not allowed you need then another ball to run to another cushion I saw the three move in there, uh, but I'm not sure. I mean, I can't tell from, from here. Uh, probably I get cheated f from the camera here. I thought he touched a three with the uh, with, with his cue stick. But now he's able to thin it the two ball, leave it there where it is, and send the cue ball up table for a much more difficult shot for Tony Drago. One, two cushions, and out. <coughs> there you go again. Was it a correct shot? He went one, two cushions, hit the two ball, but the thing then, he, the two ball gets another And the uh, long rail, so therefore it was a correct shot. And this safety is a good one. The safety is excellent. Tony has only a chance to go, well, what, one, two cushions? Yeah, one, two, maybe th behind the eight and four cushions. We know he's making up his mind very quick. And he hits Perfect. the nine. Foul shot. Ball in hand for Vincent Fake. And he has an open table here. And the chance to step ahead 2-1 in this match. There's of course still a, a bit of work to do. There are no problems, no bigger problems involved in this layout, you see. He's going for the two ball and the side cushion. Leaving him a very nice and easy shot on the three. 
bit of an angle which he needs to get out of there for the five. One. Taking the second cushion. Uh, falling maybe a little bit short to the mark, but this should be okay because he can go now again to rails for the six ball. Maybe even one ball, one one cushion. I'm not sure if the angle is right to go one. Stun the ball maybe behind the nine even and come back up table or just kill the shot with an inside English and come just straight away up. Like, I don't know. It's hard to judge from here. There you go, five ball. Oh, he went a totally different way. Look at that shot. It was a brilliant shot. Very nice idea. He went with an inside English. Started to the uh, long rail first and went three cushions and out for, well, a nice shot on the six ball. Maybe not the easiest shot, but a makeable one. Tempo is everything here on the next one. Very nice executed. He has the right angle to get out of, uh, of the cushion for the nine ball. Very nice stroke. And here it is. There goes the nine. On two balls and the one ball. Now we have uh, a game of six balls here. Not the nicest uh, shot to begin with here. It with confidence. He didn't even think about it. He just went down and just went for the shot. And that's a style we like to see here at the monitor. Very nice game. Nice draw shot. Beautifully done. And he sees enough of the eight inside English and back to the middle of the table well the middle of the <laughs> Start up two to two and Vincent Fake on the break Ooh. he hit it with a hundred miles an hour but he lost the cue ball a lot and unfortunately, he didn't make a ball on the break. So power is not everything here in pool. You need to have control of the cue ball a lot. He tried to play safety here. And... Uh, He did kind of okay. The one is, I think, is not available for him. And he's got his uh, jump cue again back, which means he's going to jump over the seven or a portion of the seven to hit the, the one. And he's got here a lot of options. He can uh, hit the one and go off the billiard there at the four and make it in the uh, side pocket. Or even maybe make the with the white one the three. There you go. He almost did them both. 
Well, we said that before he's that uh, world champion in trick shots. And here you see why. <laughs> he almost make two balls with a jump cue. Well, here he goes for another jump. Ah, and he's even... Uh, <laughs> Tony said, I'm going to laugh if that will work. Okay, he's trying He's trying to do a show, a trick shot show here. Like hitting with the cue ball, the white ball, off the four to the nine and uh, stealing it. Bringing it home three to two here. Let's see. Ah, unfortunately, the white one jumped over the, th you know, the four. <laughs> But he had get good chances to do this uh, jump carom. Uh, that was a that was a nice idea. Curve shot on the one ball. Oh, he didn't get rewarded. Okay, a little bit unlucky. And he left him an open shot here. Vincent Fake back at the table. There's a two on the other side. Let's see. He has to go all the way back. Nice smooth stroke here. A little bit of right English and he brings uh, the ball back. For a nice position on two. He got a little bit too straight, I think. But let's see if he can get out of that. Shot inside the rail. He had a bit of an angle. And now let's see what he's gonna do with the uh, with the four. He has to. Oh, he missed it. Not by much, but he missed it. He had to uh, to play position for the five for the same pocket, and I don't know if he was bothered by that. And now it's Tony back in action. Nicely executed. One two rails for the seven ball. Let's see how he's going to play position for the eight ball. Stun shot. Forty eight. Another draw shot. Perfect position for the nine. And it's a 3 2 lead here for Tony Drago. In what? In a, a split seconds? One. He made a ball. Two balls passing the head stream, meaning no dry break. And an open shot for the one ball. Oops. Look at the two ball here. Oh. He was a little bit careless about that shot. He just made the one ball, which was a not that easy shot, but the angle was uh, was all right. But then he hits the two. The two ball came off the rail. And now it's sticking here at the cue ball. Let's see what he's going to do. He's going to go for a safety shot. Look, spinning out and trying to hide uh, the white ball, or at least keeping it here on this side at the rail. <laughs> Leaving Vincent what? Well, not much. And I think he's going to go for a, for a safety shot here. Yeah. One rail, hiding the two ball behind the four. Oh, watch the side pocket. And now Tony's got a shot on the two himself. He cannot pot the ball, but he played a nice safety. With a stop shot, he stopped the wide ball behind the four, sending the two ball, one, two, three rails to the other side of the table. But now, 
And so uh, the two ball caroms of the, the seven, now it's almost hanging inside the pocket. And here you see again uh, Vincent with a jump cue in his hand. I'm not sure if he can get a good stance here. Look at that. Okay, there is a nine, as you see. He needs to jump over the four without touching the nine, of course, with his cue stick. It's possible. He hit it. It was a correct shot, ladies and gentlemen, but he couldn't make this ball. I will bet now that he's going to go aggressively for the puck to pocket the two ball. But watch the cue ball. Yes, Kerm off the four, and he stay lucky. Can he see the four ball? Yep. Mm. This is uncharacteristic for Tony Drago here. Shot was not that difficult, but he mm, was a little bit awkward for queuing there. He, j he was jacked up a little bit. And now it's Vincent Fake back to the table. With all the chances to tie it up the match again. Is he gonna go for for the carom shot? The 4-7 combination? No. I like the dash shot. I'll tell you why. He tried to hide the, the wild ball even behind the five. Oh, it's not a problem for Tony. If he would make the, uh, let's say, if he would make the four, he could have a five ball, five ball seven combination and uh, continue from that on. But, uh, well, fortunately, there's another guy here at the table who can benefit from that shot. The two way shot, kind of a safety, what he tried behind the five didn't work out. And what for you, ladies and gentlemen, might be a long shot for Tony Drago, isn't? There you have it, Tony Drago. Very nice shot. A good break shot. Good cue ball control. And look at the five. Uh, he cannot make the two ball. At this stage, I would like to say thank you to Mr. Simon Schmitz. He's playing me a lot of games here, I'm trying to kidding around, but uh, he's doing here a great job at the Euro Tour. Um, he's putting all, he's, he's responsible for all the technique um, uh, behind uh, this tournament. Without him, it would be no live scoring, no internet streaming. So thank you very much, Simon. That was a nice shot. Wow. Did you see that one? Okay, he's not... Uh, he's facing now the two. Kind of a straight. He didn't get so much rewarded. Look, and he has to queue above the seven. And look at where the four ball is. He needs to pull out one of the head here. He needs to pull out a rabbit, I would say. Uh, we make it. The pockets are not playing with him. And Tony's uh, playing a safety shot. Even, he didn't even go to make the four ball play position for the four ball. He really did this with confidence. <laughs> he he put the two ball, placed the the, the, the the cue ball behind the four, and play a nice safety. For one moment, I thought he's gonna go for the combo four nine combination to win the game, but. He puts pressure on. 
Vincent Fakey. Let's see. Nice shot. He hit it good. Four ball is makeable. Oh. But no. Tony's going for another safety. Increasing the pressure for Vincent Fakay. Like Ralph Eckert said, why go for the ball? Uh, or do some goofy combinations. Uh, this is what your opponent is hoping for. That you do some goofy combinations and then maybe the balls are rattling there. And you can jump up at the table, maybe facing an open shot. And here... He's got a struggle. I mean, he needs to hit the four and hopefully not leave a lot for Tony Drago. And here he's back at the table. Oh, no. What an error, ladies and gentlemen. From all the shots we saw today, this was not the most difficult one. It was a little bit of an angle, of course, there, but he was a little bit careless there with with this shot. He almost hit the, the last diamond there. He hit it really by much. One, two cushions out for a perfect position on the five. Nice. Nicely done. And again, queuing very low. Six ball down. And the seven ball should be no problem for Vincent Fakay. The cue ball has to travel a little bit that he has a good side on the eight ball. He needs a little bit of an angle to come back for the nine. But he did perfect here. Very nice and smooth stroke. And he's got all the chances back here to stay in the match. With his last nine. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Vincent Fake. Tony Drago breaking rack number eight. Make the one ball. Make a ball in the corner pocket. Can't see which one it was. He has an open shot on the two. And look at this nice layout here. All the balls are spread wide open. One, two cushions out. Down goes the three. Stunch of four to five. Here needs a little bit of work. I don't know. He can go forward probably. One, two cushions. Oh. Went a bit too far here. For the six ball. Look at that. It could be so easy from there. And now he's facing, well... Not an easy shot, but no problem for Tony. The tornado. Wow, all around the table for a nice shot on the eight ball. And it's a tornado. The Moscone Cup winner. Everything's going to turn off for him. Wow. Get lucky here with a cue ball. He did one ball, but it's a dry break. Two, three ball, six ball, seven, eight balls, but only one ball passed the head string. <laughs> Tony's giving it up. He say, oh, come on, you can jump this one. <laughs> I think they're having a good time over there. Push. Okay. <laughs> this is an entertainment here.
entertainment piece. Push? I don't know what he's saying now. What? Push out, much traffic here, yeah. And that's a pool billiard show we're seeing here, ladies and gentlemen. But it wasn't, as you see. And what do you think, guys, out there? Was the tornado counting on that? Well, there, there was a lot of options where something could go wrong. Like he said, there's a lot of traffic here. I don't know what he meant by that. Like a lot of traffic for the uh, kick shot for the two. Or a lot of traffic if he hits the two that the white ball will come down for the three ball. Anyways, all speculations are, uh, well, shoulda, coulda, woulda. It doesn't count here. Tornado. Tony Drago is back at the table with all the chances to stay in the last 32 and therefore jump on the money places. Very nice shot here. One, two rails for the nine. And it's the 6-3. It looks like uh, Tony Drago is running away. But he's breaking a bit better. He finded uh, find a good way to, to break, make some balls. Breaking a little bit harder, I think, than uh, Vincent. And a push out from Tony Drago. Well, concerning that he doesn't have that, di that he didn't have a shot on the one ball or at the uh, at one ball, the break wasn't good, but it was at least better than the other breaks we saw before. He's always making one or two balls. Watch the cue ball. Yes, he tried. I mean, look where the three ball is hanging there on the other side. He needed to well, give it a lot here. A nice draw shot would make, but he didn't make the two ball. And here comes another safety. Very nice executed here by Tony Drago. Keeping the pressure on Vincent Fake. if he can get a kick to the long rail or if he's uh, the cue ball is frozen at the seven meaning he needs to go cur a short cushion first now he, he can see a bit of it and two rails oh he missed it I think he didn't touch the and the cue ball is going off the table. And here he comes back for Tornado. He can't wait to close this one here. Two ball down. Three ball. Is it makeable? Is it going through there? Through the... Uh... Yes, it is. A nice shot and a nice angle on the five ball. Was it a four? It's a five ball, I think. Back and forth, ladies and gentlemen, here for the six. Stun shot will do four to seven. A bit of angle to come up table for the eight. 
He can go, well, backwards, forward, or just stun it in the cushion. For a nice position on the eight ball. One more to go. And it's going to be the seven three lead here for Tony. And it is, ladies and gentlemen, reducing the scores four to seven. But he needs a good break. Definitely. There you go. That was a hard break. He lost the cue ball a little bit, and I think he got lucky here that he can see the one. Because the one hit the corner of the side pocket and went back to the foot area. And even with a right angle to come back to the two ball. Cushion first. I mean, yes, one, two cushions for the four. Does he have enough angle to uh, fall to the five? Done it to that side. And here's the five. Where's the six ball? Oh, it's over there. He needs to draw the ball inside the long rail. There you go. Leaving him a pretty fair shot on the on the six. The stop shot will do here for the seven. There you go. There you have it. Up there like a magnet. A nice angle, four to seven. A little bit of draw, forty-eight. <clears throat> Two more balls. Eight ball gone. Nice position for the nine. Reducing the score four games to seven. Still in the game. Leading seven games to four. One, two balls. But look at the white ball. It's blocked by the nine. Lost the control of the cue ball, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, he's going to play a push out. I don't know where he pushed there. Well, what you would do here would you give it to your opponent? You're trailing four to seven. Four to seven. Is this year jumpable? I don't think so. He can get a nice kick. Trying to stop the cue ball over there, sending uh, the one ball back and forth, having the four and the eight as uh, interfering balls. There you go. Whoa. And I'm not sure if he can see the ball. There's a six also in between. He opened them a little bit. He hit it maybe too much on the right side of the one. Therefore, the cue ball went inside those two balls cluster. And having, wow, what a nice shot here from Tony Drago, ladies and gentlemen. He shot this, uh, it was a miracle shot almost. Didn't even uh, thought this, this shot was available. Oh, and the pocket is playing with him. He has a nice uh, side on the four ball here. 
can play it in the cushion. Oh no, he's going to play directly in the side pocket, I think. I'm not sure. I'm not sure here about the angle. I cannot see it from here. He's going for the corner pocket. Oh no, he's going for the safety. Well, that's an option, of course. Yeah, sure. Why not? I mean, the safety is uh, pretty good. Look, all the tables are uh, almost tough. stuck to the rail. There is no ball here where he can uh, hide the ball if he will hit the four. He could go for the jump. And then what? Where the white wall is going to go? Hmm. Tony did the right selection here. He's leading seven games to four. And why to risk here and bring his opponent back to the game, having maybe a 7-5 result here? Oh, he can see a bit. He cur did he curve it? I'm not sure. Hidden didn't give him a chance. Uh, and there was the mistake, if we can call it so. He thins the ball inside. Having a good shot here on the seven. And this should be uh, game number eight, if I'm not mistaken here. Seven ball. One, two cushions. Watch your speed. And he has a nice angle here. On the eight, he can do with the white ball whatever he wants to. He let it float around the table, showing confidence for a nice straight shot on the nine, and it's the eight. Last call for Mr. Fakay. And I'm not sure, it was, a, was it a dry shot? One, two, yes, it was dry shot. Can't believe he returned to his first style of a break. He even broke them more softly. It's Tony Drago now facing a well, quite open table. This position play was quite difficult. The uh, three ball hanging inside the pocket and it's, uh, oh yes. The cue ball runs inside the four. Hmm. Speed was the factor here. And now it's Vincent getting one more chance. Maybe his last one here in the match. Sending the cue ball one or two cushions back to where it started. A thicker play by by Tony, leaving the cue ball behind the six. He's going with the right, a lot of right English, spinning the cue ball around, leaving not much for Tony Dragor. And he's back with another safety shot here. Very nice executed. Still the six in between the four and the cue ball.
Went cushion first. Oh, what's the nine? He almost made the nine in the side pocket. Not sure if the four goes here. It goes, but he has to choose cushion first. One, two, shot. Oh, Jesus. He applied a, a lot of English in this uh, cue ball. It was too much spin. <coughs> So now it's Vincent Fakey at the table. Nice draw shot. Didn't need an, uh, a lot here because he needs an angle on an angle on the six ball. Center ball will do here four to seven. Oh, he did a little bit of a left hand English. He's playing the angles very well. He's coming out. Very nicely here on the seven ball. Draw shot off the cushion and back to the middle of the table for a nice shot on the eight. Not an easy shot, but quite makeable. He needs. Oh my goodness! Can you believe this shot? I wanted to just to tell you that he needs the right speed for the nine because the nine is hanging there uh, on the rail. To don't have a difficult shot, but look at the tornado. He shot this eight a hundred miles an hour, and he doesn't care if this is a cut shot. He's sinking the ball, potting the.